Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use local notifications inside of your Ionic framework, Android and iOS mobile application. So local notifications are just notifications that happen in the background. They aren't uh, activated by a server. So instead they happen on the alarm system. So in this tutorial we're going to show the example of uh, showing a notification after a fixed amount of time and then uh, what happens from there. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a new Ionic Framework project on our desktop, preferably. So let's go ahead and do the following. Oops. Let's just call it example. All right, so go ahead and navigate into this new project. And now we're gonna go ahead and add the Android platform. So you can also add the iOS platform, but for simplicity, we're gonna stick strictly to Android. Um, if you do plan on using iOS, you have to be using a Mac computer. Otherwise, you won't be able to add and build for it. So with that said, we've just added our Android platform. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and install the Apache Cordova plugin uh, for local notifications. So this plugin was created by a guy named Sebastian uh, Katzer. And what we want to do is uh, follow the documentation um, and install this plugin here. So go ahead and copy the GitHub URL. I'm, I have this in the written uh, portion of this article, so uh, no need to pay close attention to the text that I'm using. So let's go ahead and do Cordova plugin add, and then go ahead and paste that in. So it just went ahead and installed the plugin for Android. And again, if you were on iOS, it would install it for iOS as well. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to install the AngularJS extension set called ng Cordova because it, using Ionic Framework, we want to stay a little more Angular and uh, keep up with proper styles. It, it, technically, you can already use the local notification plugin, but we're, we're just going to go ahead and use it the ng Cordova way. So I've gone ahead and I've already downloaded it and it's on my desktop. So what we want to do is we want to copy the minified file into our project directory. We're going to go to www and then js and we're going to go ahead and paste it in there. And then going back into your text editor, we're going to go ahead and open up that project. We're going to open up the www folder and we're going to open up index.html. So right above the Cordova.js line, we're going to add the following. So we've just included the uh, ng Cordova minified file into our index.html file. It's very important that it, that it appears above Cordova.js, otherwise you're going to run into all kinds of different problems. So the final step in adding ng Cordova is to open up your app.js file found in the JavaScript directory. So go ahead and open that, and then we're going to go ahead in the Angular module, we're going to say ng Cordova. And it's added. But I like to clean things up a little bit in the app.js file before I start using it, so we're going to call this uh, Ionic app equals. We're going to add a semicolon there. Ionic app and add a semicolon. So now it's ready to start being used. So what we want to do now is we want to create a new controller. We're going to give it the scope and we're going to give it Cordova local notification. All right, so with that said and done, it is now time to add our first function. 
So the first function is actually going to be uh, to add a notification. So we're going to do scope.add equals function. Going to do, we're going to create a new variable called alarm time. And we're going to set it to the current date. And then we're also going to set the minutes. We're going to say alarm time dot set minutes. And that's going to be alarm time dot get minutes plus one. So what this means here is we're going to use the current date time and we're going to add one minute to the current date time. And that's going to be when our local notification triggers. So you can go ahead and, and alter the time to whatever you want. You could have it post tomorrow if you want. It doesn't really matter. But for this example, we're going to have it post in one minute. So now we're going to go ahead and add the notification. Cordova local notification dot add. All right. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to pass in the object uh, that defines this notification. So we're going to give it an ID. Uh, for Android, it's a requirement that the ID is numeric only. iOS is, is less strict, but it doesn't hurt to make them both numeric. So we're going to give it the ID of 12345. We're going to give it a uh, execution date of alarm time which is the alarm from one minute from now. We're going to give it a message to display. This is a message. Title. We're going to give it a title. All right. Now we're going to complete the promise here. We're going to say then function so when it's complete, we're going to say console.log the notification was set. All right. So let's go ahead and navigate back into our index.html file. We're going to go ahead and add that controller into our ion content. So ng controller, example controller. We're going to go ahead and add a button. All right, so in theory, this should work right now. So let's go ahead and check it out. So we're going back into our terminal. We're going to say on it, build Android. It always takes a long time the first time. I accidentally typed something. It won't hurt us though. All right, it is now built. Now we're going to install it. All right, now it should be in our simulator and we are going to open it. All right, so it looks fine. No, no errors up front here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on Add Notification. And we're going to leave it alone for a while. We're going to come back in a minute. We're going to continue adding stuff though while we're waiting. So we're going to add another function. We're going to call this one Is Scheduled. So the purpose of this function is going to see if a notification is currently pending to happen. So to do that, we're going to do Cordova local notification dot is scheduled. And we're going to provide it an ID. We're going to provide it 12345 because that's the notification that we're using in this scenario. You can use whatever you want. 
And then we're going to finish the promise here. All right. And then if it's scheduled, we're going to say alert. Notification 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Scheduled. Oh, you can see that the notification already happened. We'll go there in a second. I'm going to say is scheduled. All right. So the is scheduled function is going to tell us if it's scheduled, true or false. So let's go back into our simulator here, take a break. Uh, we'll notice that the notification did happen. This is a title, this is a message. It uses the icon of our project. And when we click it, it should open up our app. And it did. So you can uh, add more parameters to the notification. So you'll see that the notification did not go away. You can go ahead and add the following, auto cancel, true, and then in the future when you click on notifications, it will disappear after you click it. So going back to our is scheduled, we're going to go into our index.html, add another button, We are going to build and install it again. Let's go ahead and, and clear that notification when it's done installing. Oh, it already cleared it for us. So we're going to go ahead and open up our example project. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And as you can see, it's false because our notification is not scheduled. I'm going to go ahead and click Add Notification, and I'm going to click Is Scheduled again, and it's now scheduled. So let's go ahead and wait a minute. We can go ahead and talk about other stuff here while we're waiting. So in the Energy Cordova documentation, I'll go ahead and bring it up here. It mentions these. Um, you can call them broadcast listeners if you want. Uh, they don't necessarily work. And that's because of the following. So if we go ahead and open up the source code to NG Cordova, you'll notice that the functions um, for those are actually inside of an if statement that won't happen because the plugin won't exist until the on ready happens. And this will already have been called before on ready. So it'll, it'll never work out. And uh, there's a way around it, though. And we're going to go ahead and visit that after we look at the notification that just happened. So let's close that. We're going to see it happen again. We're going to open it. The notification is no longer there because we added the auto cancel uh, is true. The is scheduled is false now. Everything is working as expected. So going back to what I was saying about uh, these these uh, right here, is they won't work. But to get around those, let's go ahead and do the following. We're going to go ahead and do the following here. We're going to add a few things to our root scope, or not to our root scope, to our run. We're going to add root scope, and we're going to add timeout. So then in here, what we want to do is we want to say, uh, well, even easier. I'm going to go ahead and just copy paste it. I'm going to add this one, for example. And uh, you can see this in the written portion of this, this tutorial. So we don't need that. All right. Everything looks good at first glance. So we've added that. And what we want to do is we also want to add uh, some code into our controller. To listen for that broadcast. So we're going to say scope dot on and we're going to say Cordova local notification added. Then we're going to say function id state JSON and we are going to make it simple here and we're going to say alert a notification was added. 
All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. We're going to install it, and we are going to run it. All right, so in theory, if I click Add Notification, it should show a pop-up. So let's go ahead and check it out. And it did. So, and of course it is set, it's true. Um, so again, what happened is we added this like broadcast sender, you can call it whatever you want to call it, into our run. And then we are listening for any broadcasts that happen inside of our controller. And again, it's it's essentially what this is advertising, what the MG Cordova documentation is advertising. It's just we had to go ahead and add it into our uh, ready function. We can't just trust that it will work because the source code as it is right now uh, will not work. And you can read more on the various uh, listeners that exist inside of the official local notification plugin. Uh, there are a few, and there are a lot of other commands that you can that that are available with this plugin. Uh, I just brushed upon uh, two, three of them, so there are a lot more. And then there's our message again, uh, as expected.